Live television and streaming coverage of Game 3 of the Best of 7 series at the Bradley Center will be on ESPN and Watch ESPN, starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch this battle on any streaming platform, including smartphones, tablets, streaming boxes and computers. Boston won both games at home to take a 2-0 lead in two Game 3 in Milwaukee and Brad Stevens is hoping his team can maintain its winning form in the current postseason. The Celtics took games one at home in overtime, 113-107 and followed that up with a more comfortable 120-106. Watch the Celtics v Bucks live streaming on ESPN, it's a ton of fun to play at home in the playoffs but it's a ton of fun to play on the road if you're a competitor. Stevens said before Game 3. And one of the things that I want our guys to do is really kind of relish the challenge of getting a chance to play on the road against a really good team. Terry Rozier, who replaced Irving at the starting point guard for the Celtics, has scored 23 points in each of the first two games of the series and is also averaging 5.5 assists and 3.5 rebounds. Jalen Brown has also been an important figure for Boston, scoring 30 points in Game 3 and is shooting just over 51% in this series. Meanwhile, Giannis Antetokounmpo is averaging 32.5 points per game in this series after scoring 35 and 30 in the first two games. The big power forward is also averaging 11 point a rebound and 7.5 assists. Antetokounmpo was again supported by Chris Middleton, who had scored 25 points on an effective 10 of 14 shooting from the field. However, point guard Eric Bledsoe, who has scored just 21 total points on 9 for 25 shooting and is averaging 3 turnovers in the current series, will need to be a little more productive if the Bucks are going to pull back Boston. The Boston Celtics are without Irving and Gordon Haywood who are both ruled out for the remainder of the season due to respective injuries.